Jurating Jurating Pahang Malaya 1962 Fish Take a look At the Sprema urgently Still peering Into the microscope's viewfinder Team leader Dr. Fisher Paces steadily Across the laboratory floor And stands Firmly behind her What do we have Prem? He says as both scientists Exchange places Look at this infected Blood sample fish You thought it was contained? No The virus simply emerges Much later than the prior samples we've been monitoring By two months, says Prem And look, the markers are somewhat different as well Scanners will need to be updated and recalibrated to detect them Flustered, Dr. Fisher sighs in defeat This only adds more variables and complicates things further A pinpoint conclusion as to how this virus actually behaves is getting fuzzier by the day. The Center for Disease Control was set up in Cerating, Pahang, soon after the discovery of the incident in Sik, Kedah, a few years back. Equipped with the state-of-the-art medical research and testing facilities, and powered by the best minds in their respective medical fields, the CDC's main task right now is to figure out how to combat, or at least contain, the Tom Yam syndrome virus, which is believed to be a biological warfare concoction of the Patani Liberation Forces during the years of the Malayan Emergency, which ended about four years ago. Achieving this objective appears to be getting more and more difficult by the day. Every step taken forward is met by a few steps back. Okay, so... We know that there are broadly two types of people who will react to the virus in different ways. The first are those like that poor chap from sick, zero resistance and almost instantly succumbs. May the Lord bless his and his family's soul, says Fisher regretfully. Prem immediately picks up from where Fisher had left off. And the others are the carriers like that Singaporean chap who was detained at Rao. They will incubate the virus for not more than 60 days then come out, just like the rest, likely infecting unsuspecting people they come into contact with before that, she says, resting her face on her fist, while leaning back into her chair as she looks up in deep thought. And now we potentially have those who will incubate for about 120 days, says Fisher, and will spread more and more of these bugs over longer periods of time, undetected. Great, says Prema as she gets up from her chair. Distraught at his desk, Fisher rests his face into both his palms and exhales slowly as he closes his eyes. Either way, they all go on a murderous rampage and start killing any living thing they come into contact with. The perfect weapon from within. Fish and Prem's recent discovery can only conclude one thing, that there are potentially many, many other unsuspecting and undetected carriers out there. Just as Fisher is about to doze off, fatigue finally taking over, the lab door swings open as intern Ashley rushes in and has a quick word with Prema, who was just about to leave the room for a cup of coffee at the pantry. Awakened from his micro-nap, Fisher glances towards the two nonchalantly. Things are already bad. How much worse can it get? Fish, says Prema. There's been an outbreak in Singapore. Gelang is gone. 